All right, so now we're going to talk about using percents to find the final price. So a new shirt costs $18 and is on sale for 25% off. It also has a sales tax of 8%. What is the final price of the shirt? So here we're going to have to do two steps on this. So our first step is to find out how much that discount is. So we have 25% discount. So that will be 25 over 100. Equals our cost of the shirt is 18. And we want to find the discount. So we're going to do 25 times 18 first which gets us 450 then we're going to divide by 100 to get us a discount of four dollars and fifty cents so once we find our discount we have to take that away from our original cost to find out how much that shirt is on sale so we're going to do 18 minus 450 It's going to give us $13.50. So now we need to take that $13.50 and find out how much the sales tax is. So we're going to set up another proportion, 8 over 100 equals x over 13.50. So we're going to do 8 times 13.50 to get us a 108. So we're going to divide by 100 now to get us $1.08 tax. And then to find the final price, we're going to take that $13.50 for the shirt and the dollar and eight cents for the tax, and we're going to add them together. So we're going to get $14.58 is how much you're going to have to pay for that new shirt. Alright, so one more example. What's the final price for a pair of shoes that uh, costs $95 and is on sale 20% off and the sales tax is 5%? So first we need to find out how much that discount is. So we set up our proportion. 20 over 100 equals x over 95. We cross multiply 20 times 95 to give us 1900. It was 100x, so we're going to divide by 100 now to get a discount of $19. So we have to take that $95 and subtract our discount of $19. So we're going to pay $74 for that pair of shoes. Now we have to find the sales tax. So we have 5% over 100 equals x over 74 74 is the total cost of the shoes so we're going to do 5 times 74 which is 370 and we're going to divide by 100 to get a sales tax amount of three dollars and seventy cents So we need to add that sales tax to the cost of the shoes. So we take that $74 and add the $3.70. So we're going to get a total price of $77.70 is what you're going to have to pay for that pair of shoes.